On today's show, Loretta from Perfectly Pop Balloons is back and look at these bows. Using distortion like you've never seen and an amazing tip that I have never seen, using a pump backwards. Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here and welcome to BMTV. And as you can see, Loretta is back. Hello. Hello. Loretta from Perfectly Popped. Loretta just said something really funny. Well, I'd tell everybody what you just said about if you had a pump named after you. Oh, yeah, if you wanted. What it would be. Yeah, if you wanted to. So we're talking about balloon pumps. And, and Loretta said that she wants her own branded balloon pump. And what would it be called? Perfectly pumped. Perfectly pumped balloon pump. Isn't that the best? <laughs> really good idea. Anyway, welcome back. It's nice Hi. to see you. Oh, we're hugging. Okay. Hello. We've got to do the hug. Sorry, microphones. Oh, um, yeah. We're good. Yes, so and let's see how many more hugs we can do by the end of the show. We <laughs> put a count on. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> okay. Let's not make that the focus. Anyway, <laughs> how are you? How, what have you been doing? What have you been up to since you were last here? I'm good, thank you. And um, what have I been up to? Um, doing your hair? Training doing your hair. Oh, actually, this was... Uh, can I give a shout out? Yes. Um, this was your lovely Vicky that done my hair. Vicky did that? Yeah. So you come here and, and, and get you get done. the staff to yes. actually do your hair? Yeah. She did a good job, actually. She is amazing. So um, having my hair done and uh, training, doing lots of training days, that's what I've been doing. Just lots of doing my thing is what I'm doing. In-person training? Yes. I've been okay. doing a few of them. How many people do you have on your training courses? So my face-to-face -face training will be dependent on who I, what wholesaler I'm working with and okay. how many they can fit in. So when I went to Sempertex Europe, I think we had over 40 people. 40? I know. It's my biggest one. And then we had quite a few doing the online at the same time because it was live as well. So there was probably well over 50 or 60 people wow. on that one. And then the one I've just done recently, I'm sure we had 27. Wow. Between 27 and 30. I think we had a couple of people literally book on the night before going, I want to come. Um, so, yeah. And what sort of things are you, are you teaching on your courses? I teach everything to do with my premium bouquet. So I teach them how to make a really solid, perfectly popped base. We do the tough test, the spin test, everything. Um, I teach them how to attach the numbers, then how to decorate the numbers. So we do quite a lot of 260 work. And then um, the flower, one, one form of flower. And then just bits in between that, that you can just go, oh, and don't forget, guys, you can do this and show them another trick. And do we you just... accidentally keep adding more? Sometimes. To the... yeah, yeah. It's it good depends, though. It depends how the, the team are doing. Like if we're ahead of time and everyone's picked it up really quick, I can chuck some extra things in. Cool. Obviously, if anyone's struggling, I, I don't want them to struggle. I will spend more time on something. So it depends, really. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you said you don't have an academy, mm -hmm. which is fine, but you do have your courses online, don't you? Yes. I, Where do I people do. go to get them? So on my well. website, which um, is perfectlypoppedballoons.co.uk, I've got all sorts on there. Um, and then I have another side of my business that I coach, which we spoke about. Yeah, we so I do have a society, but it's not open like an academy. You have to apply do three months of coaching and then you go into that. Yeah. So that's very small and intimate and it grows every three to six months. New people might come in, yeah. but that's only because they've come through the program. So, yeah, I, I do a few It's very different. It's very yeah, different to very the way different. that other people do it. Yeah. I just, if, if everyone's going right, I'm going to be going left. I, I, I completely understand that. <laughs> I might have done a bit of that in my life as well. Yeah. Anyway. Yes. Thank you for that. That's all right. Thanks for what are, asking. What are we doing? Um, so I, the trend is bows and I was going to wear a bow in my hair for this, okay. but this was, I need little bows here. I think we sell them. So. Oh my God, how could I have not gone around the shop and just put know. some bows in my hair? Seriously. Right. So we're going to be making bows. Okay. This is the bow. A that is so cute. See, when you were doing the bits, I was, I was like, okay, that's going to be a bow. I'm like, I, I didn't. Know. It's weird, I, isn't it? And look at it now. You hold it up. I yeah. can see exactly. That's really it nice. It is the cutest Thing. I've never seen a distorted bow before. That is, that is, that is high end. That is, yeah. That's interesting. And bows are just, they've been trending for a long time, haven't they? And my page is full of them. And okay. I was like, well, it's about time I come on and shove a bow. So that's a bit different. So how do we do that? Okay. I, that's the one that I've made up for you. And then this is the one that I'm going to start with. So this okay. is the first part of the bow. So that's going to create that bit. Yeah. 
see that, but I'm doing this one bigger. This one's smaller because I wanted to show you can do different sizes. Okay. It doesn't with with making things and like with flowers and petals, yes, there is a certain amount of pumps I do with them, but that's because I like it to look a certain way. Mm -hmm. But you can you can make them as big or small as you want. That's the wonderful thing about creating. Yeah, absolutely. And also have a play. See what works for you. Every time I make one of these, I have to be honest, I do the same technique, but it comes out different every time. Yeah, all right. So I'm going to show you. We are going to use <clears throat> the new um, Sempertex colour, Malibu. Do you like Malibu? As in? As in the, the drink. drink. I am the most boring person in the world. I don't drink. <sighs> I used to drink Malibu. Did you? In my younger days. So you it wasn't my regular drink. It was when I was somewhere hot or something. Yeah. Malibu not... and Coke just seemed right. Yeah, just not in this country. Yeah, probably not. No. Anyway. Yeah, I'm like really boring. I don't even really love a fizzy drink, do I? Yeah, yeah I know. So I'm, I'm, I'm a cheap date. Yeah, yeah, but that's always good. I, I, <laughs> I'm, I can get drunk on happiness and life. Oh, how nice. <laughs> anyway, so that's the new colour, yeah, Malibu. Malibu. Come on, stay focused. That's new right now. It's June 2024, people. If you're watching this in 2026, it's no longer new. Yes. And I have got a really nice colour palette to go with this that I'm hopefully going to show you later. Mm. This is such a lovely new colour and I'm just going to make a bow out of it. So, we need to put 260 inside our latex like you would yep. with a flower, a distorted flower. So we have now, seen distortion before, so. Yeah, so it's the same technique. I like to use my little ground peg here, yep. nice and solid, and I clip it on the end like that, just Ooh. so that it gets it in quicker and nice and neat. If that's, you try and do it on your own. It's so easy, what yeah, you just it's showed just, that. It's just quick. So I've always got one of them with me. Yep. Always, always, always. Now. I do like to use, I think I've told you guys this before on one of the previous videos, Sempertex Clear 260s. I have a bag of these everywhere I go. Everywhere. Why clear? Why do they have to be clear? I just think they're brilliant. They're so strong. They're so good. They blow up different to a fashion and definitely different to a reflex. I think the shape comes out different. Really? So when, okay. When I do distortion, I will always use a clear. Okay. And also, I... You can't see it through the <clears throat> balloon, it's perfect. You know, like if I was to use black in there, you'd see that, wouldn't you? So mm. you obviously wouldn't use black, but I just think it just covers all okay. options. All right, black, okay. I mean clear. See, you said black, now I've got black in my head. Clear. <laughs> it's clear. I always like to make sure you've got some hanging out the bottom. I'm gonna blow this up just a bit, like over inflate it. <laughs> making sure your 260 is still hanging at the bottom. Yeah. As you pick it off, you've still got your 260 here. I like to put my pump, any hand pump, under my arm because I like to see what I'm doing. You know, some people have it like down yeah, here. Yeah. I can't see what I'm doing down there. So I just flick it under my arm. And then we want to put the open end of the 260 on the end of your pump. Mm -hmm. And then the, um, the rim of the Malibu, we want just in front. You don't want it covering like that. Hold on, show, 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 show Alex there. So you don't want it covering nope, like that. No, we don't want it covering like that because you will lose it. You want it, hang on, let me just bring that back down. You want it in front like that. Does that make sense? Do you get that, Alex? Mm -hmm. So you've oh, got your little zoomed bit. zoomed in. You've got your little bit hanging out there. Yeah. Because if that covers that and then you hold that, you'll lose the clear one up yeah, inside. Yeah, so we yeah. just want to keep it. Visible. Visible, exactly that. This one keeps folding up. So once I've done that and it's sitting in front, I'm gonna hold all three mm -hmm. and I'm gonna tug okay. that 260 and then I'm gonna pump. I'm gonna pump six times because I'm gonna make a bigger one. This was four pumps, this one's six because I, like I like a bit of a bigger bow. Okay. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, straight off. If you don't take it straight off, you'll lose some of your air because the air will go down the um, nozzle of your pump. Okay. Okay, now, Pull the closed end all the way down. Until you feel resistance. Yep, you can feel it closing, which will look like that. That's, oh, that's really good that you've shown that. That's what it looks like inside, everybody. You can't see it. Yeah, that, I think cool. that's four pumps, but that's what it looks like yep. inside. Cool. So it's nice and tight at the bottom there. Yep. Okay, and then I'm going to tie them. I don't pull this end. Don't pull that because it doesn't need it and you'll rip it. 
Um, I'm not worried about the air coming out, so don't panic. But if you do panic about the air coming out, put your middle finger there and it will stop it. You're talking about the air coming out of, out the, of the latex. Balloon, yes, yeah. sorry, not the 260. We don't want the air coming out the 260 at all. It doesn't matter about this. We can put more in it. Now with this bit, you want to put your knot so it goes up inside the neck. You don't want to catch the neck. Yeah. Okay. I think I've just done that three times because I like to be dramatic. Then cut the end off. So you are left with this. That's kind of your standard. That's where you start with a lot of distortion. Yes, it is. It is a bit like that. Absolutely. Now this bit, I'm not going to lie, is tricky. I actually think making flowers, making petals is so much easier than a bow. Okay. It really is because now I've got to repeat this process with that inside. So I pull this neck around a little bit so I can get this in, which is why it's good to get yourself one of these. A pencil and a pen won't work, it's too thick. And then we want to get it right in the middle there. Can you see it going through? I can. And then get it right in there and then pull that out without losing this. And we want to repeat that process. And then we want to go like this, stick that in front, give it a tug. One, two, three, four, five, six, straight off. Pull. How do you know that's lined up with the other one? We will you know? make sure it's lined up in a minute when we let the air out. Sometimes it moves. I can see it's moved a bit there, but we can put it back. By going like this. All right, okay. Okay, and then I just want to always make sure that this is in the middle of them both. So you can see that that's where the knots are. Yep. Yeah. And then this would be the end bit, like that. So the knots will be this end. Yeah. And then these bits are nice and smooth. So how many balloons have we got in there? Three? Yeah, we're going to put one more in now. Ready? That we're middle gonna... one seems bigger. That's because it's going to be one of these. Oh, OK. So you've got your two 260s like that. Oh, yeah, it comes out there as well, doesn't it? Yeah, oh. That's it. I think there's lots of videos of people making these and they make it look so easy. I... I've not seen this before. Have you not? No. I just don't think they're that easy. I really don't. And I want to make people feel normal. You'll probably do this a few times and go, that's rubbish. This that's is where you rubbish. do it perfectly and it's not going to go wrong at all and you're just yeah. going to make it look really easy. That's it. I'm going to do exactly that. Positive vibes. And annoy everybody because they'll go, yeah, but it worked for you because everything's perfectly popped. No, it doesn't happen like that all the time, guys. I promise you. And my hands get tired from doing loads of distortion as well. Now, this, um, again, you want to make sure that neck's right in the middle so you can get this in without popping them. Oh, God, yeah, See that? that's difficult. Yeah, it's not easy. And that, <laughs> when I was practicing these, when I first taught myself how to do them, it, oh, it took me forever. I was like trying to get it in there all cat candid. Yeah, This yeah. is just the one and just let everything go gently. Now, this bit, I go backwards and forwards with this bit all the time. But I'm going to show you the one way that I do think works for me. So I... That's the one that I've double stuffed. Yep. I'm going to blow up the outside balloon first to make some room, okay? Because it just won't work properly otherwise. So you want to hold all, for, uh, hold all two. Make sure that your air... Right, we don't want to do too much because what will happen is the 260s inside will start flapping everywhere and we don't want them to go anywhere. Okay. We want them to stay like that. So now I'm going to go in with the, the middle one, but I'm going to get it right on so the air comes up the middle. And I do blow quite a bit in it because this is where everyone else makes it look easy, but I muck about with it a little bit. I like to push so that I can bring these two bits together and so also I've... let out. Go on. How does everybody else make it look easy? I don't know. I think I'm just, I just do things a little bit different. It looks messy. Yeah. I let the air out of that outside one for a minute. Can yeah. you see that? Yeah, yeah. And then I like to bring these bits together a little bit more so you're creating that shape. Yeah. 
Oh, I see. If you hold it like that, you can see I'm trying to get that wider and then closer. Yeah. And this is too big. It's not matching. Um, but again, please remember that it doesn't always come out. Um, it's actually, it's what I say about um, petals. They're sisters, not twins. Okay. Okay. As much as we'd love the bow to be perfect, there's, there might be a slight size difference. Okay. Right, I'm going to carry on letting some air out of the middle one because I've already let the air out of that by putting my finger down there and just letting that air out of the outside one. Yeah. And then keep letting some air out and bringing them together. Just manipulate them in a bit. And as it gets smaller, they want to come in more. Can you notice that? As this gets smaller, they come closer. Yes. And then just to kind of make them look a bit more matching, you can just manipulate this outside balloon. Now everybody, sometimes this goes wrong. Yes. Believe it or not, even for a seasoned professional like Loretta. And we might just show you a shot of it going wrong on an earlier take. So that they're together, and that one. Oh! So now, I've just manipulated it how I want it, give it a bit of a squash, and then I tie the inside balloon. Okay, so now okay. that's all tied up and you can do with that what you want. It yeah. looks... It looks very... More, more or less the same. Very similar, and when we put them together, it's going to look great. So there's the two outside parts of the bow. Awesome. Now, we're going to make... This bit is much easier. We're going to make the towel. Okay. Okay? So, I'm going... So does it matter, look, that that's... Going, no, because uh, it's at the back. Because that's, that's just going to be like yeah. that, isn't it? Okay, yeah. Cool. I mean, we could faff and make it all look amazing at the back as well. But you don't got to. I just think, get to that stage and you'll love it. Yeah. Like that, well, that actually, that does look pretty neat. That does look pretty neat. <laughs> I am much yeah. better when I'm just left yeah. to my own devices. Okay. When you put me on a camera, it doesn't... Oh, excuses, excuses. Yeah. Come on. Just rubbish. Right. Um, so now I'm going to do the same thing where I put a 260 inside of my 12 inch. So, your go. Oh. There you go. Put that inside. So just this. split it. I do, equal halves. Did Alex tell you to make me do something? No, I, I always. Yeah. Uh, oh, I touched my mic, sorry. I always um, like getting you to join in, don't I? Come I, on. I'm a pro. You I'm are, you are pro. super, super good. There you go. Don't so ask me got, to do the next bit. We've got two of them now. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go in, make sure your 260 is hanging out the bottom. Open plate. Now, again, it's up to you how many pumps you do at this point. I'm just going to match it. I'm going to do six. That is all four. This one's going to be all six. Okay. So same as I taught you before with the keeping the um, colour over in front, sorry, of the 260. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, off. Pull down. I can feel it coming down. Remembering that this, can you show them how tight that is? Like pull them bits apart at the bottom. Yeah, that's how tight it needs that's to be. That's tight, that's tight. Yeah, that's not and that's apart, by pulling that down. Don't pull too hard and don't pull too tight because it will break. Tie it off, making sure that when you tie it, it goes up inside the neck, okay? Because okay. if we catch this neck, yeah. the air won't come out. Okay, now we are going to cut these bits off. And then, this bit is super, super easy. You want to let the air out, and as the air's coming out, twist one one way, twist one the other. Oh, so it's just one balloon? Yeah, just one for ah. this one. And give it a bit of a squidge, squidge, oh, like that. that. Do you want to define it a little bit more? Um, you hold the pump for me, nice and strong. Put the balloon over the end. Wow. And then just... Oh. Make sure that you... Grip. You're using the pump to suck. Yeah, and then just grip. Oh, I've never seen that before. And oh, that's so impressive. That is so impressive. You like that? I am. I am. Oh, oh it's so good. Oh, so good. Well done. Well done.
There you go, try to do that. Oh, one. yeah, that's my next one, right? So we're going to make the second towel. <laughs> I love that tip. I get very excited about some little things that you never think. Yeah. I'd never ever have thought in a million years of doing that. That's good, isn't it? That is amazing. One, two, three, four, five, six, off. Pull down. Tie off. Oh, you're fast now, aren't you? Yeah. Sorry, shall I slow down? No, 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 that's good. Well, you've shown the technique, then yeah. you just do it. Just get on with it. This one's yours. Oh, okay. Ready? Okay. So, let the air out. You can let go. Let go. And then twist it. Create an air show. That's it. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Just twist. I'm twisting. I'm twisting. A bit more. Way. How, what do you, how much more do you want me to do it? That's it. That's good. Now hold that. Well done. Look. You did it. I well did done. It. And then we're going to put that over the end. Do you want to do a little bit of the, just a little bit, a little bit of the sucking? That's it. Oh, that's good. And then grab it. Don't let go. That's with sign ups, that's where I really fall down. <laughs> and then we've got these two. So these are the ribbons. Tie them together just loosely. I thought I'd dangle earrings. I know. Oh, I should have done that before I put done. them on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, nice. And then with this one, I take the middle balloon that we tied. I, I never tie the outside balloon, just the middle. Again, nice and loose. Why do you not tie the outside balloon? Um, because it hurts your fingers okay. and it's not necessary. All right. Fair enough. That was nice and nice and loose like that. That one's also oh, nice and pump. loose. Do you need your pump? Yeah, I'll do a hand pump, thank you. And then I'm just gonna create um, a duplet. Might do two pumps, it's up to you. I mean, at this point, you can just decorate it however you want. Might take them down a little bit. Together. And then, I go in. No, I'm gonna go in with both of them first. Twist them in like you would a quad, like that. Twist this in. And then you sort it out. While at the back, while at the front. Uh, what way do we want it to look? That way is the front, that way is the front. Like that, like that, like that. I absolutely love that. That is awesome. I think me contributing has, has helped. Oh, it's it's made it. I think it's great. Like it's just legendary, isn't it now? So this is your six pumps. <clears throat> so you hold that yeah. one. And then this is your four pump. And you can just do whatever sizes you want, really. So what do you put these in? How do, how do you use these? I put them in premium bouquets. Yeah. I'll put them into garlands. Have you, I done the, um, I put them into garlands, guys, on the Tough Text new range launch. Okay. I done like a. Have you got some pictures you can send yeah. us that we can just put on the screen? Yeah, they're on my Instagram, but I can send them to you. Thank you. These, I've been doing these in my premium bouquets for. A while. A while. Um, I particularly like doing them in reflex. Yeah. On a Barbie or um, anything girly. Yeah, but, they're, they're yeah. brilliant. Absolutely love And they love last that. ages. Yeah, and it's so different. You don't see these. Yeah. Because they're not, they're not easy. They're not easy. They're not easy. No. But they add value because I think your, your average person would look at that and, and really be completely confused as to how this was made. Yeah. So, yeah, they're great. fantastic, aren't they? And I love that every, every one that I do, oh, I do them at Christmas and stick them on my Christmas trees in red. Okay. That nice. looks really good. I've done them last Christmas. Excellent. Um, and then with this one at the front, um, you could do um, a 260 flower. Yep. So you really could do whatever you want there. You, yeah. I've also done one where I've then done, you know, the pearls. Yep. I've then created pearls into a uh, bow shape and stuck that on the front. So you really can just You're keep going. Fancy, aren't you? Yeah, just keep Very going. Very fancy. So that's, that's my... Well, Loretta, bow. thank you for that. Okay. Now, as a guest on BMTV, you get to ask everybody the question of the week. Ooh. What is the question of the week you'd like, to ask, you'd like to ask everybody? I would like to know if you could have your own line of something in the balloon industry. Let's keep it balloon related. What would it be? Your own balloons, your own pump. Your, your own, own pump for you, obviously, perfectly pumped. Clearly a pump for me. Um, what, would, what would it be? Um, or what do you think you could contribute yeah. to the industry yeah. with your line? Oh, I'll have to think of something there. Mm. Don't know what that might be. Yeah, you, uh, you've got to think of something really, really good. Yeah, yeah.
Okay. Um, so, yeah. Leave your comments down below on Facebook and on YouTube for that. Loretta, thank you again. Oh. I'm going to do the outro. I'm actually in contact. I've never done this before. Okay, go on. I, I need another hand. It's like, what, what, what do I do? I've, I've got completely, what do I do? It's like, oh, okay. Anyway. Okay, thanks, Alex. Yeah. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button on YouTube and click the little bell icon. You'll be notified every time we upload a new show. Check us out on Instagram and TikTok where the fun stuff happens. Be happy, be positive, have a Loretta in your life. See you soon. Bye.